Well, we got another read on inflation this morning. Wholesale prices surged 11.3% in June compared to a year ago. And it comes a day after we learned that consumer prices shot up 9.1% over the past year, deepening fears over a possible recession. We also received new jobless claims today showing that the number of Americans applying for unemployment benefits last week hit its highest level in nearly eight months. 244,000 Americans filed for unemployment, up about 9,000 from the previous week. ABC News News business correspondent Alex, Alexis Christophorus breaking it down for us now. So let's talk about the numbers once again. Seems like a daily conversation for yes. us. <laughs> and, you know, what it tells us about the economy and a possible recession. Yeah, I always love talking to you, Kira. Hopefully we get to talk about some happier things uh, in the coming weeks. But again, the alarm bells were sounding today on inflation. We found out that wholesale prices, so those are the prices that businesses pay to get their goods and that's often moved along to consumers. Those prices rose 11.3%. I guess a little bit of good news here is that if you strip away volatile food and energy costs, that rise was actually a little bit less than expected. But overall, when you take these two days of inflation numbers back to back, the big picture here is prices are wildly high, the highest we have seen since 1981. And the Fed definitely has its work cut out for it when it tries to rein in these prices because inflation is spread deeply in our economy. It's not just energy and food. It has spread to housing costs. We know rent is going through the roof. Uh, how, uh, we also have apparel prices higher. So just about everything you're looking to buy right now, used cars, all those prices are higher. So High housing, as you mentioned, the costs, they were a big driver of this week's inflation reports. So what exactly is going on there? Unfortunately, we got some new numbers out uh, today, Kira, that shows that buying a home is becoming even more expensive for Americans. The average mortgage rate now on a 30-year fixed loan jumping to 5.51% this week. Uh, the end, at the end of last year, that rate was 3.11%. And I just want to show you, we, we did the numbers here uh, to take a look at what this would cost you if you actually took out um, a loan right now, a home loan of $300,000. Your monthly payment now with mortgage rates the way they are, it would be about $1,700 or $422 more per month than they would have been uh, just last year. So what should we look out for at the next Fed meeting? Is a higher rate actually on the table? Uh, I think most absolutely, and it's not even a question of if they're going to hike rates, but by how much. You know, before this week's inflation reports, we were looking at a three-quarters of a percentage point jump in rates. Now, some economists are telling me they wouldn't be surprised if the Fed raised rates by one percentage point at that meeting in two weeks. Uh, that would be the first time we've seen something like that happen since the early 1980s when the government was trying to deal with runaway inflation. So I think the story for consumers is buckle up because higher interest rates are on the way for the rest of the year. Well, earnings season did kick off today, as you mentioned, giving us some insight on how high inflation is impacting businesses. So what are we learning about banks and what does that tell us about the health of our economy? I think we all expected that it was going to start to hit businesses in the pocket as well. And today, J.P. Morgan Chase and Morgan Stanley came out with disappointing profits. And J.P. Morgan in particular set aside nearly half a billion dollars more in anticipation of bad loans, meaning that the bank is bracing for businesses and consumers to start defaulting on their loans if the economy economy does indeed fall into a recession. And J.P. Morgan Chase's CEO, Jamie Dimon, even warning that tough times could be ahead, although he did say we are at least have still a strong consumer for the moment and a very strong job market. All right, Alexis, thanks so much. I know we'll be talking daily. Yes. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.